Hello, Tim Gable here from the Region Media Group and we've all been inspired by our Olympians in Tokyo and of course the Matildas did us proud, an incredible performance over the week and uh, alongside me I've got a couple of young footballers here in Canberra aspiring to be the next Matildas, Jade Brown from Gungahlin and also Brigitte Sander also from Gungahlin. And as part of the quest, I guess, to, to play for the Matildas and get higher honours, they're heading across to the US on scholarship, as many an Australian player has done over the years. The first one is Brigida. She's heading across this weekend. She's going to Concord University. And Brigida, I guess it's it's the part of a journey for you, start of a journey for you. Exactly, yeah. Um, just like the next phase of my life, I guess. I um, I associate Gungahlin, I guess, with my high school experience, and it'll be exciting to start a new football club and you know study uni at university. So yeah, next phase of my life, but I'm excited, a bit scared, but yeah. should be good. Are you excited by the, the prospect? I mean, it, it is obviously going to develop your football as well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I'm excited just to learn new skills and a very intense football environment, I guess. And I think that'll help me push as an ath push myself as an athlete and to come back in the holidays as well and play for Gungahlin and, you know, probably try out some new skills, I hope. So, yeah. 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 And just on, I guess, we've watched the Matildas and, you know, do you aspire to be a Matilda? Um, as a young player, I did. At this... At this moment, like I do, obviously, I hope, but um, I'm just more focusing on pushing myself as an athlete and, like, you know, what the next step will be. But definitely, it could be in my future. You know, yeah. I don't want to cut myself off and say no. But yeah, yeah. no, it'd be exciting though to, if I could become a Matilda. That'd be amazing. What are your expectations heading across to the US? Um, I expect it to be challenged, um, both academically and um, as an athlete. Um, and just like to have a great opportunity and experience, um, I think it would be amazing, like once in a life, once in a lifetime opportunity. So yeah, I just, I like, I have no idea what it's going to bring. I just know a lot of challenges, but I'm excited to see what happens. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Brigitte. Right. Uh, also alongside me is Jade Brown from Gungahlin, and Jade, uh, you're going to finish Year 12 before you're heading across to the US, but um, obviously you've got a season to finish here in Canberra. Yes, I do. Um, I think it would be still exciting going over the end of this year, get to finish a season here in Canberra, which is good, and it would be really sad to see Briggsy go, but <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Uh, what are your expectations going across to the US, going to Mississippi, um, once you finish year 12? Yeah, um, it was more for the experience opportunity. I didn't think it was going to happen, um, but I think going over there, going for a new team, new coach, new environment, is gonna be really challenging. Um, but really exciting at the same time. I think push myself as much as I can, see um, how good I can get, try new things. Yeah. Uh, just mentioned to Briggsy just about the Matildas. Does it inspire you to, to take that next step? And uh, Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, who wouldn't want to play for the Matildas? Um, but it's more just seeing how it goes. Yeah. Nothing's um, like set, so just yeah. The next steps overseas and just seeing where it takes me and where it goes from there. What do you like about Gungahlin as a club? I love the environment, the people, they're just, it's like another family. Yeah. Um, you go there and go to training and it's just fun playing games, it's just really fun and it's enjoyable and I think if you're having fun while you're playing it's definitely a plus. Good on you, Jade. Thanks for that. Rixie, what do you like about Gungahlin as you oh, start to head overseas? It's going to be very similar to what Jade said, the people, definitely. Um, the coach, Diego, is such a nice person to um, be coached by. Um, you know, he, he does challenge you, but he also understands that he needs to make it a very um, inviting environment to play in and a comfortable one. And I think, yeah, he accomplishes that. And the girls are so lovely. So it makes me want to come to football and like train. So, yeah. Thanks. Uh, yeah. That's uh, Bridget Sander and also Jade Brown from Gungahlin. Back with more in just a moment. This week's Sports Wrap proudly brought to you by Village Building Co. Hello, this is Tim Gable. Welcome back to the Region Media Sports Report and great news with Canberra's Kelsey Lee Barber through to the final of the Javelin on Friday at the Tokyo Olympic Games. She needed a big throw on the final throw and, and did it to qualify in third position with the third best throw. So great news there for Kelsey Lee Barber from Canberra making it through to the final of the women's javelin at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Now the Canberra Raiders take on the Dragons Friday night in Queensland. A couple of changes, Elijah Anderson, one of the new players that came into the club at the end of last season, spent an off season in Canberra, a great young talent. 
He's coming off the bench this weekend. Sebastian Chris has concussion and Matt Tomoko will start in the centres. Ryan Sutton is back from injury as well. So the Raiders in equal eighth. They've got the Sharks, the Dragons and Newcastle alongside them. So a massive game Friday night. Jared Croker, by the way, the third on the all-time NRL point scorers in the history of rugby league. He's going pretty well, Jared, isn't he? A lot of points there. In the Canberra Raiders Cup, Gungahlin and the Queenbeam Blues, the top sides in the Canberra Raiders Cup. In terms of the ACT Rugby Union, John Ident Cup, the Vikings, Gungahlin, Uni Norths and West, they're in the four at the moment. The Wallabies play the All Blacks Saturday night. And Fred Cahir has signed with the Brumbies for the 2022 season, so that's great to see. Just in AFL Canberra, the top two sides there, the Queanbeyan Tigers and Belconnen. And as, in terms of soccer, just heard from a, a couple of Gungahlin players. At the moment, they're in the four Gungahlin in the women's soccer here in Canberra. Canberra Croatian and Belconnen United, the top two teams. This is Tim Gavel signing off for the Region Media Group.